This little film covers item A8 in the POCR or poker rubric. It's all about multimedia. So like it or not, our students live in a digital world and as teachers, we might not always understand this, but we need to remain aware of it. Our students are used to and prefer receiving information from a variety of different media. And if they're reading, they like it short and to the point, but they learn better if their learning includes pictures and videos and sounds. They learn best if they can make something using multimedia. So to align with the poker rubric, you need to have multimedia in your online classes to meet your students where they live. Your reviewers will check specifically for content presented using visual, auditory, graphic, and verbal formats and textbooks that offer ebook options. This doesn't mean your class needs to have multimedia on every page and all this razzle dazzle. It simply means that you, the instructor, have clearly made use of modalities beyond text throughout the course. Creating multimedia pages is part of diversity and inclusion. All learners differ in the ways that they perceive and comprehend information. This is most obvious for those with sensory disabilities and learning disabilities or language or cultural differences. These people may require different ways of approaching content, but others may simply grasp the information more quickly or more efficiently through visual or auditory means rather than just printed text. Learning and the transfer of learning occurs when multiple representations are used. It allows students to make connections within as well as between concepts there's not only one means of representation that will be optimal for everyone, so it's really good to have all sorts of different means of representation throughout your class. That's the best way to support all learners. Ebook alternatives for pricey textbooks are also an inclusive practice. They provide portable and cheap sources of information to everyone. And while your reviewers understand that good ebooks are not always available for every subject, more and more there are online alternatives for traditional textbooks, and an awareness and use of these in your classes will make your course exemplary. So let's look at this page and see its use of uh, media. So the picture breaks up the text so that it's chunked right, which is more easy for this generation of students to absorb and especially easy for all students to absorb online. So pictures not only make your uh, pages pretty, but they also make them more usable and learning more accessible. Um, they compress chunks of unwieldy text so that your students can understand the course material better. Films are also a terrific addition. Uh, your students like watching them and the images can help them retain information better. You can also use podcasts and recordings in your class for your oral learners so that they too um, get something and more and can make connections over the class. You might also consider adding multimedia to an assignment or two, exploring concepts in alternative ways by drawing, painting, cartooning, creating PowerPoints, recording speeches, creating videos can be great hands-on learning opportunities for your students and they'll enjoy doing it too. Canvas offers a lot of apps in its settings tab. So if you go to settings and you click on apps, you come up with a list of literally hundreds of apps for learning all sorts of different things and for making all kinds of different assignments. And you can find out which ones are available from your school and incorporate them into your classes. They're really cool and worth looking at. You can find ebook alternatives at the OER Commons, and that's online at oercommons.org, where you can search for 
ebooks and articles and free films on virtually every subject that there is for virtually every education level. Um, and you can find hundreds of things for uh, your students to use that will be free and open and available to every single one of them immediately on the net. Ultimately, using multimedia in your classes will make them stand out and has the added bonus of helping all your students stand out as well. They will learn more and better with a variety of sources, materials, and assignments to help them. And that is why Multimedia A8 is part of the poker rubric.